be wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely. We could be gazing at the stars, but no. This is the start of our little vlog for our weekend. Hi guys, welcome back to the vlogs. Do you remember Christian? Hi everyone. He made a lot of appearances in my New York vlogs and now he's back to visit and I'm so excited. We're gonna have the best weekend ever. We're going to Key West on Saturday. We're doing a little road trip so it should be a lot of fun. But first things first is we just got coffee. We're in our little workout gear and we're going to road cycle. We're gonna do a little cycling class. We're literally staring at it right outside. So <laughs> let's go. Let's do it. But now it feels just like a Wandered off into a room and closed the door behind me I never gave the key to you Even though I wanted to I should be trying something new But now my body's sick I'm tired of dwelling in the dark It's just that my heart can't take it I didn't know what it would cost me When I let you go I feel alone and I'm just singing, mm, 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 it should have been you. Another time, another place, I just know. Good morning, guys. I am making my morning coffee right now. It is 7 a.m. and I'm going to cook breakfast for everybody. I actually invited my family over for breakfast as well, but we're having a little bit of early breakfast. I told everyone to come at 7.30 because Christian and I have a long day ahead of us. And then we have a workout at 10. So I wanted to make sure we had enough time for breakfast beforehand. I'm probably not gonna eat too much because I don't I don't eat this early. So this is like not gonna make me feel good if I have food this early, especially before Pilates. Um, but I'm making my coffee right now because I just can't function without it right now. Um, I'm going to do it a little bit later because we were watching a show and I was just working on my laptop in the living room and now we're getting started with breakfast I'm gonna make eggs, some veggies and all that good stuff Are you? Same. Yeah, like I also only buy like um, And you just it's just scary with chicken in particular, like even the chicken be my store and how it's produced. You know, and the hormones and all that. Any meat yeah. product. Yeah. We have to prioritize spending money on food here unfortunately because unlike other countries. You can't just get quality food. Yeah. For the yeah. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to like meat, eggs, dairy. We are at. Is that it? No. A hair? Tell me those aren't hairs. Let me get up because I'm down. I got a matcha latte. 
We're at the beach. Tanning away. I'm about to get in the sun, but I'm like bracing myself because it's really, really hot. Like really hot. I think we're gonna go in the water first, cool off, and then tan for a second and then get in the shade again. Christian. Christian's living his best life and he just goes. I get why you really what'd you say? You really cracked the code with this one. I get why you left New York. Like it's really everyone says that when they visit me, it's really hard to stay in New York in the city when you have this fun. On a Friday. I just feel really happy with the weather and the sunshine and the beach. We ordered some food. I'm not really hungry. The workout kicked our ass, but what's new? I love reform, reformer Pilates and that specific studio I go to is like really like more cardio. I love the music they play and they really, really, really work you out like you're sore. I was actually changing in the locker room and my legs were shaking a little bit. I don't know Babe. if you know. My whole midsection right now. Your whole midsection? Yeah. How do you feel? What are your reviews on this class? It was insane. It was like super, it was intense and it was invigorating and it was fun and challenging and I need to work on my core strength. <laughs> <laughs> it was all this. Rishi kept looking over at me like, girl, what the fuck did you sign me up for? I was like, I'm so proud of you for doing this because you honestly could just leave at any point or not want to challenge yourself and not even come. So he did such an amazing job and I told him it's like once you start doing it, it's kind of addicting the way it makes you feel because it's such a good workout in 15 minutes. I've never gotten a workout with anything else I've done to this level in such a short period of time and you only need to do it like once or twice a week and you feel immediately like in shape, snatched, like it just gets so lean so quick with this workout because it's so like intense and the movements and the pace, I don't know, I love it. For me, it works really good and it helps my mental a lot. So yeah, I ordered some quack because I'm not that hungry yet. Christian, what did you order? Um, I got the poke. The poke bowl? That's good, I've had that. So yeah, see you guys in a little bit. Nobody told me it was gonna turn out like this But that's alright, that's alright We got caught in the rain so we came back home and we're gonna chill for a second before we get ready for dinner. And yeah, what's up, babe? A little bit pickle. Nice. And I'm gonna get coffee later too because we want more coffee. <sighs> Thanks. <laughs> okay, this is what I'm wearing to dinner. I just have this little leather bandeau with my loose kind of low waist jeans. These fit like almost at the hip. And then my bag, heels, and then I love this necklace. Oh, I almost fell. And this necklace, I did my makeup in like five minutes, I swear. I need to do a makeup tutorial because I'm so quick with my makeup these days. As Christian, I was like, I had 20 minutes to get ready. Five minutes for my makeup, five minutes for my hair, and 10 minutes for my outfit pretty much. Um, but I love this necklace. Yeah, I just like do a little bit of concealer. I just put in a little bit in the front of my brows to give them shape. Lip liner, so I have to put on lip balm, um, blush, a little bit of freckle pen, and barely any mascara, and then we're out the door. Out the door. And my hair. We're off to dinner. We're going to Villa Zor. Already showed you guys my outfit. Christian, you want to do a little outfit? OOTD moment. What are we wearing? Hugo Boss dress shirt. Um, I can't remember the brand of these pants. Balenciaga. Sandals. Sandals. Sunnies. These are um, actually from a brand in Mexico called Arthur and Sons. I think I've heard of them. Yeah. Cute. Cool. They make them custom there. I love how you like are visiting, but you're wearing so much more color than me. This is so not the New York you I know. <laughs> yeah, it's usually always black. It's always black, but he's coming black through with the color. Gray. My color is usually blue. You're making me look good. You're making me look like I'm visiting. So funny. And I'm, or you guys already saw, but I'm wearing like a leather top, jeans, black heels, black bag, black, black, black. You gotta do what you gotta do. This is what I feel most comfortable in. It 
Bump it up with the Caesar. Oh, well, the Caesar would be a the extra. extra. Yep, yeah, that's fine. You're sharing then, everything? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna share. Oh, yeah, that's right. And then we're gonna do um, the lamb. The lamb, yeah. And the lemon and caviar. Yeah, yeah. Chocolate. Okay. And like, then you said the tiramisu, the right? Yeah. Okay. And then we'll do the, the, the liquid tiramisu as well. Perfect. The last one from here. Yeah. Some bread to start with. With should we? Are we gonna be? We should. We'll do we should do it. We'll do bread. Oh, also hookah. Can we order? Is it too early? No way. <laughs> we'll be here till nine. Everybody's zero till nine. Okay. I'm done. Be human. I can't fall asleep. I'm just not tired. I can hear the raindrops falling. It's cold outside, and I kind of feel like. Go-to flavor. I don't get hookah. There's not even that many good hookah spots in Miami, but when I do get hookah, I like hookah. And Christian likes hookah, so it's perfect. Um, I don't smoke hookah. Maybe it's like, I don't know, two, three times a year. Whenever I find it somewhere when I'm at dinner. But this place has really good hookah, and I always, always, always get watermelon mint together, and it's, I tell you, the best flavor. And this one is so cold and smooth. It just, it's so smooth. I just got back to the house. I think it's like 10 p.m and i'm gonna quickly pack we're only gonna be there for a night in key west um so i'm not bringing that much and we're going like snorkeling tomorrow so it's gonna be like really casual clothes but i still need to pack and i'm gonna be so my hair is like it's gonna be hair wash time i'm wearing it up because i know tomorrow during the snorkeling i'm gonna get my hair wet so i don't want to wash it before because that would be pointless so i'm like keeping my hair up for snorkel clay, I'm gonna get in the water, get away, and then when I go back to the hotel, I'm gonna like do my hair. I'm gonna give myself like a blowout and strap, which probably won't last because it's so humid. But still, like I want like to have clean hair, you know. But um, so I need to bring all my like hair stuff with me. But I just got some stuff from Amora Vitsa, I think is how you pronounce this brand. I've been using this brand forever. I love this brand. Been using it for years. Still don't know how to pronounce it, but I really love their skincare products. Okay, this is what I. Uh, it's the queen oil well, I already started opening these this is the scalp mask the scalp reviver well, I already stole it <laughs> and then I got the lip balm as well which I'm, I read the reviews they were so good I'm so excited to, so excited to try this it looks so like oh my gosh it smells so good it was a very light like florally sweet scent. I don't know. Looks really nice too. Here, let me put some on. Ooh, super like velvety soft. Like I barely touched it. Oh my gosh, I already really like this. I'm not the biggest fan of like lip balms where you put your finger in, but whatever. It reminds me of like the early 2000s where like all the lip balms were like this in this container. I love it. Just very natural, light, moisturizing. It smells incredible. It smells like the scent that they have in like all their products. So did I just accidentally do that? I think I would really, really, really like this. I'll keep you posted as I use it more. Whenever I put on lip balm, I then like whatever's like left over on my fingers, I always put it on the rest of my body. I don't know why, because I don't want it to go to waste. 
But if I can put it on my lips, I can put it on my skin, right? That's what I think. I just miss you. picking up our rental car because I couldn't leave Lyle stranded without our car so we're not taking the car to Key West Christian and Christian and I ended up renting a car we're just like laughing at the rental car names because we're using dollar oh actually what's really cool is uber allows you to rent cars so we did it through the uber app which was so seamless and easy and you just come pick it up from the airport in Miami and um, hi You pick it up from the airport in Miami, and um, we got it from Dollar. But the price, like, it's just so funny because we're talking about how all of the like car rental names are supposed to like speak to value, but they're so not affordable. Like, we spent so much for like a day of a one car, and then we also couldn't decide what car to get. So we were really torn between our options of a Toyota Corolla, <laughs> some sort of Hyundai. Yeah, it's literally right. someone's monthly car yeah, payment for one day. Because you got to add on the tools and then the um, insurance and then the, probably a full yeah. tank of gas going to Key West and back. I mean, it's worth it. We love this stuff, but there's no there's no value. In this. So yeah, we we're just laughing because we use dollar and then the other one is called Thrifty. curious about the branding on these names. If it's three hours and 20 minutes and it's almost 9 a.m., we're literally, we're literally gonna make it right on time. We gotta be quicker than yeah. that. We're gonna have to be quicker than that. Oh, because oh. our snorkeling activity is at 12.30 and we can't miss that. So yeah, we gotta go. We should have also brought water with us. Maybe we'll have to stop somewhere and just quickly grab some. All right, we'll see you guys when we're on the road. mask in my hair because I'm gonna wash it after that's why it's looking very sleek we just made it to our hotel and um, it's actually so cute and it's so quiet um, and what's called? oh we missed our excursion we showed up nine minutes past. we're supposed to be there at 1230 we showed up at 1239 the boat already left so we missed snorkeling and we wanted to we like spoke to them, is there anything else we could do today? And they're like, you can do parasailing at three, so we're like, all right, sign us up. So uh, that way we didn't like miss out because they don't do refunds. We're gonna eat in the hotel first, they have a restaurant, and then we're gonna go straight to parasailing, and we have to be early so we don't miss that one too. And then uh, come back and shower and chill and get ready for the evening. So I was gonna give you guys a little tour. 
they gave us this really cute like kind of like townhouse vibe it's like a little house it's three stories it's super cute i'll show you you enter in from the door up downstairs and you come up here and it's like the living room area and then this is my room it has a really nice balcony i have a bathroom and shower and everything to myself which is really nice this is the living room and i guess it also has like a kitchen too a little kitchen area tv another balcony but this balcony faces like the pool area in the restaurant and then this is the living room and then like a little kitchen area right there and then christian's room is upstairs Okay, we just ate really quickly, made our way to the spot we found parking. I feel like when things are made to, meant to be, everything works out so smooth. When I first dropped off Christian for to come and like tell the people we're coming, I was trying to find street parking and it was impossible, there was no spots. Now we found a spot immediately. <gasps> Look at the little roosters with the little baby chiclets on the floor. And there's a little Cuban coffee spot here and Christian said we must check out the coffee before we go to our excursion. I was like, do you want me to be up in the air parasailing with an ice latte? He's like, yeah, it's so on brand for you. So I'm like, all right. This is a little bit of milk like in the ice coffee. Vanilla latte. What size small? Large? Small. That's it. Huh? That's it? Like That's it, right. Can you add cinnamon to mine? Is it possible? Yeah. And a little bit of ice, not a lot of ice. for the evening and I put in this like hair mask I'm just like massaging it in um, it's really good to like clean your scalp if you use products and oils like I do um, and like clean out your hair follicles so your hair is healthy and grows etc so I just put that all over my scalp do I see like a sunglass tan line do you guys see that or is it just the lighting I hope not it feels so good to massage it in it's like a minty mask it's this one I love it. The Revitalizing Scalp Mask. I showed you this yesterday. This is my second one. I'm gonna wait like 10 to 20 minutes, it says. Usually leave it on way longer than that, but I just don't have time right now. So I'm gonna do at least 10 minutes and then hop in a shower to wash it out. And I might either air dry my hair or blow out. Blow out sounds like so much work right now. I just, my hair's just gonna sweat again this evening, but we'll see. I just wanna take photos real quick. Like I want, one photo and that's it and then I could be like chill for the rest of the time so what I'm wearing to go get ice cream walk around and get dinner and get dinner. You know what? Is it weird that I'm still not hungry though? Ready, Freddy? Let's do it. We got our 
a little scoop of ice cream. We went to a different spot than the last one because this one's called um, River, Street River Street Sweets. The other one didn't have good flavors, so we decided to. We saw another one down the street, so we're like, let's go try out the other one. What flavor did you get? Cookies and cream. Classic. Classic. I got letter, le letter, ledger head. Ledger ledger head. head. It's like, I don't even know what she said. Walnuts, chocolate, caramel, something like that. And now we're walking around. Baby, give me some, I'm thirsty. He grinned as he stumbled through the bar. Well, he said, give me some, I love, give me some, love, give it all. Morning guys, I'm just waking up. I slept in a little bit this morning. We we're both a little tired and we just aren't playing for today since we walked around yesterday pretty much and saw the whole old town or is it like, no, Duval Street or part of Key West. Um, we're like, let's just sleep in. We picked a spot for breakfast, like a yummy healthy breakfast. So we're gonna go get breakfast and then we're heading back because we have to take the car back to the airport and then um, I'm dropping Christian off at the airport because he has to catch his flight back to New York. So it's Sunday. We had such a fun little trip since Christian got here. He was only here, he got here on Thursday, so it's only been a few days, but we just like, every day was packed with activities. It was so much fun. I'm so thankful he came. Um, so now we're just getting ready. I'm wearing the same shorts I wore on Friday. Oh, we got no sorry like we got here yesterday so i'm wearing the same shorts that i wore yesterday and my favorite tank tops uh, i wore the black one yesterday and then this is the white one from my brand just the best fit the best fabric it's like not thin you know it's such a nice cotton and i never wear a bra and it's like not see-through even in the white version and then i am wearing my little chupri Sandals, and yeah, off we go. Food in Key West isn't like that great though, because it's mostly like they don't have they don't as have much access. Yeah. Because there's just like one highway that gets all the way to it's the Keys. It's expensive, so. and it's not like so far what we've had isn't that special. Maybe the seafood we didn't really dabble into the seafood too much. I have fish that first day, but the fish was good. I'm not sure how the seafood is. Obviously, I assume they have good seafood because yeah. it's in the water. But um, they. Um, What's shocking is they don't have a lot of fresh stuff. And I mean like fresh fruit. Like when I go somewhere warm, well, it's so hard when you live in Miami. It's like- But still like beachy, you know like any like beach vibes. communities, it's usually like, you have fresh food, Coconuts, acai. Coconuts, acai, yeah. bananas, papayas. There's none of yeah. that at but any But this restaurant. is more of like a water sport and like drink, Area. drinking community, like party vibe than yeah. like a beach vibe. Got so that. it's a lot vibe. of like heavy food, liquor, and like even last night, like at like 10 o'clock, we were like, we gotta go. Like We were walking on Devout Street and we rowdy. had dinner. Yeah, I was getting rowdy. We were leaving and people were like kind of like messed up. And it wasn't like the, it wasn't a good vibe. But there's other part of the Keys that everybody, like this is that. Like Key West is like that from what I've heard. But there's like, um, I think it's Isla Morada. Is Isla Morada is one of the islands that everyone, not everyone, it's more low key, but it's very nice. It's not like this. So I think it just depends on what island you go to. Would you go back to Key West with your family? I would try out, because everyone says there it's amazing. It's, somewhere, it's one of the first ones, it takes like an hour and a half from Miami versus three and a half hours. Because it's at the beginning of the one, Key West, at the Keys. I wouldn't seek out Key West. Yeah. Either. No, we tried it, Paris Sailing was really fun. The um, the hotel was nice. It got, it got us what we needed. Um, 
Yeah, we come for like water sports, but honestly, when you live in Miami, you could do that there too. So I'm like, right. what would be the purpose to drive you all the way out here? You can jet ski in Miami, you can do boating do in all. Miami, you can Plus, do Plus, there's no real beaches here. Have you seen the Barbie movie? No. The Barbie movie? Ken's, so you know how Barbie's like, she's like a doctor, she's a scientist, she's a she's teacher. Wrong. Ken's job is just beach. Is it? Yeah. That's hilarious. <laughs> is it worth watching? Yeah, you should it's see good. it. It's good, yeah. You guys my outfit before I head out please ignore all of the laundry on the couch um, we just <laughs> haven't gotten around to putting it away I'm wearing the Alexandra pants for my brand these are the Tencel ones as you guys know I have like different fabrics in these pants so these are Tencel that's why they kind of have like this suede like look I love this fabric so much I rave about Tencel all the time if you guys watch me you know I'm wearing the white Bottegas um, the Mia top from the brand as well and I wear this top all the time but I also love the neckline and I'm wearing my Bottega bag and yeah this is my outfit I am about to head out to get started on unpacking laundry clean up the house a little bit all the work i have to catch up on just so much going on so i'm gonna end this vlog here and hope you guys enjoyed this little getaway vlog um i had the best time and hopefully there's a lot more travels coming up um i just love traveling i was thinking about this i was getting like so emotional on the ride back because i like emotional out of happiness because I realized how important travel is to me and how much it satisfies my soul and how much joy it brings me and that's also why I always always love prioritizing traveling and trying new things it doesn't have to be a far travel it doesn't have to be anything crazy or expensive just being in new places with new people and new experiences and new memories and adventures and trying new stuff like just brings me so much happiness so I felt really thankful coming back and um getting to experience this trip you know um yeah so i will see you guys in the next vlog i love you so 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 much thank you for watching and sticking around you guys are the absolute best i love you dearly and i will see you in the next vlog